Hey everyone and welcome back to the second half of the top 10 Acorn Electron games and how I got into video gaming. Enjoy the second half as we count down from 5 to 1. I never really thought I would like Boxer when I came across this game. But lo and behold, this one really held good memories for me that I will never forget. It was a ropes and levels game. The first time I played it I had no idea what I was doing until I realised you had to headbutt balloons that got caught up in the rafters as you face off with your opponent to catch the attention of a young lady while dodging hammers, falling weights, boxing gloves and dumbbells. Boxer may not be remembered as much today but I recommend this as a game that everyone should try at least once. Monsters was quite a tactful game back in the day. You go up and down ladders avoiding the monsters and digging holes in the bricks. When a monster falls into it, you have just a short amount of time to knock it down through the hole. Later levels made the game faster. Different coloured monsters required you to dig two to three holes underneath each other to kill the monster off. As years passed I never saw another game like this, and this one will always be remembered in my heart. Daredevil Dennis was a really strange game, but a fun one at that. It's a racing platform in a way, where you control a motorbike, jet ski and skidoo. With four sections to the screen per level, you sped up and jumped over hazards that were in each section, from houses to trees, ambulance and avoiding spiders. It was a game that's just out of the ordinary, and one that I fondly remember well. It was good enough to spawn a second title that was titled Daredevil Dennis the Sequel, which came out on the Commodore 64. Beachhead was one game that became a massive hit with me. Set in the Pacific Ocean Theatre in World War II, saw the player going through different stages where you control warships and tanks to break through the enemy fleet and destroy the giant gun placement. Playing the battleship sections was excellent, shooting down planes. I struggled at first to sink the battleships, getting the distance right on the cannons to hit the enemies in the background. Graphically it was stunning back in the day to see this computer bring this sort of game to life. Beachhead 2 and 3 arrived on the Commodore 64, and an arcade version titled Beachhead 2000 was also released. It's one of those titles I would like to see a comeback for, or a classic collection released for the current consoles like the Nintendo Switch. This is it, the first video I ever played that started me on the journey to play more video games. Released in my birth year, 1982 for the BBC Micro, and 1983 for the Acorn Electron, Snapper was a Pac-Man clone that ticked all the boxes for me. It was slower than Pac-Man, as I would discover years later when I played the tabletop Pac-Man in a pub at the seaside in Walton on the Nays. Snapper was so simple to play, eating the dots around the maze while avoiding the monsters and picking up the fruit that would appear. I remember me and my mum would play this one for hours trying to beat each other's scores. Mum always had the edge over me on this one, but it would never stop me playing it. And that is my top 10 of Acorn Electron titles. Thanks very much for watching. Join me for another RJY Plays video, add me on PSN and Xbox, click like and subscribe, and I'll see you very soon.